Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Movement Center and welcome to the Runner Series. Well, we break down the runner body joint by joint from the foot and ankle all the way to the head so that you can move and run like you mean it. All right, guys, episode eight of the Runner Series. We are talking about the neck. Okay, a lot of guys get, get our people out there get neck pain. And get This is great, uh, but then it starts to suck, right? So headaches, neck pains, or shoulder tension, all this stuff can stem from some of the things we're going to talk about today, all right? More importantly, I want you guys to go back to the last episode for the shoulders uh, and, and, the, and the lower back and look at your lower back and the thoracic There's drills in there for it, um, but we focus on the neck specifically, that's what we're going to do today. So the test for this, guys, is we're all going to do this together, is I want you guys to bring your chin down to your chest, and if you can touch, that, you should be able to touch that chin straight down to your chest. So chest is limited a little bit here. You might be, you want to work on here, Mark's pretty good. You can get down there. I don't want you to do the same thing going to the opposite shoulder, so you're down like this, over, and then other shoulder there. Make sure you don't cheat and pull that shoulder up up to it. Make sure you get that shoulder set, okay? And the last piece of that is looking up towards the sky and is there pain, right? So if you have any pain with any of these movements, it's a problem. We've got to work on it, right? And if you can't touch your chest with any of those movements, that's your problem, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is a release. So to use this, these fancy kind of, kind of back balls you can get, or these are stuck around. Together, but you can take two lacrosse balls and test balls, duct tape them together, or put them in a sock and do the same thing. So we're going to have Jess lay in our back here for us. And to do this, guys, you're going to take this and put it right in the crux or sort of in the back. And if you don't mind speaking this way for us, in the back right here at the base of the skull. Okay? So what we're going to do is have Jess lay down and put those right there. Perfect. And she's kind of knees bent, comfortable. All right, so get those knees bent all the way up. And what she's going to do is just tuck her chin back and forth as she lays all her weight on that ball. All right? So she's kind of digging in and relaxing that head. She can hold it if she wants with her hands to really position it in a good place. And she should feel that massage right in that tender point at the base of the skull, okay? And feel that release back and forth. This is really effective, especially if you guys have headaches out there. A uh, really good thing to work on here to really open up that back. But remember, if you're hinging or working out through that position, it's probably coming from upper back mobility restriction or a postural issue. So look downstream of this stuff, but to take care of the, the symptoms, this is a great one to try, okay? Thanks, Jess. Great. Now, after we open that up, we want to lengthen that neck or get that chin down towards the chest. So to do this, we're going to do, I call this the armpit stretch. So you're going to take your, your shoulder, the side you're stretching to, and grab the top of your head. Okay, Mark do this for us. Right, and he's going to tilt his, and really wants to see if he's wearing deodorant today. He's going to bring that down and pull that head down towards opposite armpit. How's it smell? <laughs> Good. Right, and if he wants, he can lock this down on a, on a table or a bench to really lock it. You can see him really stretching through there uh, to hold that position down. Okay, you can relax there. So again, I'll just show you guys that again from another angle as we're here, pulling down, getting that nose into that armpit. Okay, don't be bending your back, keep your shoulders set, and just move what you want to move. So just move the neck as you pull down into there. Okay, and last piece of this is to activate or get a better postural position. So we're going to have Jess demo this for us. And I'm going to show it quickly here, guys, as you want to get this man locked in the crux or the base of your, of your skull, okay? You're going to lock your arms out straight like this, not extended, but straight, okay? And then first thing is you want to make sure you're neutral posture. Don't be overextended. Don't be bent like this. You want to be neutral abs, but on bum squeeze, kinetic chain is in, in, kind of in set. And you're going to pull and tuck back like this. Okay? You should feel this kind of work in these deep neck flexor muscles here and opening up. So we're going to have Jess do that. We're going to be face that way for us, please. She locks that there. Perfect. Locks out her arms. She's straight. She makes sure she's not so hard. Perfect. So she's kind of got her abs on a little bit, she's activated, and she's going to go ahead and tuck it. Beautiful. And Jess is awesome. Right? Now you can see Jess is someone, and a lot of females like this, they naturally have a bit of a tendency to let that go. Head to still and forward, so when she's running for a long time, she might get slow in her upper neck. So making sure she is activating and tucking her feet back and forth to straighten up the neck and get into a good position. Again, I want to this one more time. Right? So that's just up your neck, guys. Go ahead and release that stuff. Get in and open it up and strengthen it, okay? If you guys like this, go down and hit like. Go hand on that button. We appreciate that. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. We'll answer them. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, move like you mean it. Thanks a lot.